Hello, today I want to do a quick tutorial going through um, interpolations, specifically with floats in this video, but this should be pretty applicable to anything. Um, the example I'm going to be going through is, in this game I'm working on, you can um, you know, kind of fly around this little galaxy map and zoom in and out. And without an interpolation, and I'm just going to switch this to zero to simulate what this looks like. Oops. Right, it can kind of be really choppy, um, right? You can kind of see that how things are rendering is, is really bad, really choppy, doesn't look good. So what you can use is an interpolation to blend you from one um, to another. And so specifically, right, I'm going from my current camera field of view to my target field of view. Um, and then where you can set the time is interpolation speed. Speed. So zero is you just snap right to it. Um, but you can start to play around with this number um, to work on your blend. So if I put a one, this is going to be really, really slow. You can see what it's doing. I move my mouse wheel uh, forward and backwards to control the zoom. And it's slowly going to that. Versus if I did something like 100, which is fairly large, right? it'll go a lot quicker. And then in there, right, I'm kind of getting back to that. Um, really almost glitchy look. Where I've kind of found is like a five to 10 is something that works really well for what I'm doing. All right, so at a five, just kind of a nice little blend. Um, and you know, maybe I want this a little bit more, like a seven goes a little bit better. Yeah, something like that. So nice, it's smooth. We don't have that jitteriness anymore. Um, and now how do you implement this? So the way I'm doing this is when I roll my mouse wheel up or down, it is sending um, this value through these uh, enhanced inputs. And what I'm doing is I have a zoom speed, which is just a, um, a hard-coded variable that controls how quickly it goes up or down. And I'm taking that value um, and adding that to my camera current field of view. And then I'm setting a clamping it with a minimax so you can at most go out 135 degrees and as, as low as 45. And I'm setting that as a new FOV variable. And then I'm setting another variable called zoom on. And then what this does is every time the event uh, tick uh, function or event is happening, if the zoom is set to on, we interpolate via floats to, right, with a current of our current camera field of view to our target, which is our uh, new FOV variable. For my delta time, I'm just using delta seconds, and then the interpolation speed, uh, just using the seven that I just tested. And then from there, I'm setting my current field of view. And then what I'm doing after that is just checking, is my field of view equal to my new field of view within a, a tolerance, right? Floats are almost never gonna be exactly equal to each other because the decimal places basically go on through infinity. So I'm just doing 0.1. If that's true, then set the zoom off, which then stops this, this event. So really simple, really easy, um, and really worth the, uh, the little extra step just to get a little bit smoother. Right, you can do this with movement too. Um, if you kind of wanted more of a smooth glide type of feel, um, so just some options for you. But yeah, hope that, uh, hope that helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.